on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the strike, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb T. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Wanaku, Hilo, Hawaii, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Roos, the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. Fight. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Just missed with the leg kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Just out of range with that left hook. Big and kick. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth with some full-on brawlies. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know 
when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right hand on point. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Nice body. Strike right blocked by Lou. Lands the right hand. What a punch. Strong hook lands. Oh! Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. There you go. Ooh, big shot land. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Real quick leg kick. Nice strike. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Connects with a right. Right hook to the head block. Right hand upstairs. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big power shot there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Punch over the top. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Right hand upstairs. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Good stick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's stock. Beating his legs up. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, let's get to round two. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right hand good on the counter. How about that shin? 
Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, huge kick to the box. Oh! That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh! Ooh, what a head kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the driver, oh, yeah. order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator, not a fighter? You see why? Yeah. Those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Unable to land with that punch. <laughs> Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Real sneaky body kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He did so there. Pretty good right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Nice leg kick lands. Gets caught with that punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Well placed kick there by Lee. Ooh, blocks the shot. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse.
ready to fight. Third round underway. And he continues to work the body here. Nice three punch. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, a huge block there. Kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Liver kick. That's a big strike right there. Just misses with the left hook. Beautiful spinning attack there. Big kick land. And that one certainly... to the feet now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Great punch landed with so much power. Whoa! Look at that. It's over. It's over. He's done. He's done. <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knockout. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Patrick Mann. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling.